far. Versus Ordinary Magician. All right, we're going to be getting our winner's finals coming up here. My players and my score. <laughs> Gold Lewis is the play in that matchup. True. Gold Lewis. Gold Lewis is pretty broad. I mean, honestly, the Axel, the Axel looked really clean for that. But there was just a couple too many of those interactions that definitely went over. The Ordinary Magician's favor. And we have an FNF &F Classic coming in here for you. Coming at you live from my fortified hellhole. Or my fortified bunker in the middle of the DC hellhole. Come on, how long has it been since I said that? Oh, man. We got Mike Saftig versus Danny coming in. The Soul versus the Kai. Finally, some honest footsies. Nice yeah, block on the man. fireball. Honest footsies. Great 6P coming out from Danny, too. Danny versus Mike Zappig. Hooking it up. The Soul versus the Kai. I mean, and there's the wall break right there. I mean, the, the Stun Dipper finding its mark. Danny's that terrible. Oh, you've got just head. enough meter. You found the meter for the kill with the positive bonus. That is absolutely tragic. Mike Zaftig That's... was down burst there, but had meter and had a really good opportunity. But the the fact that Danny was able to generate enough meter to make that happen is yeah, pretty I mean, darn rough. And to have the awareness to be able to do that on the fly mid combo was so tricky. For sure, realizing that you're generating enough meter for yourself, the Sun Dipper combo, nice burst bait as well. And Danny getting that DBZ routing coming in here. Yeah. Yo, that's Vegito on the screen right now. <laughs> Here we go. Just throwing out buttons, checking Mike Saftig's approach, refusing to let Mike Saftig get their bearings here. As Danny going up for the first match. Very nice. Yeah, I mean, th this is like this is like the FNF Battle of the Gods. Like this is the match. Like Mike Saftig and Danny are both like frequent flyer. Demons and the crowd oh, yeah. loves them every time they're on screen. So this is like not them. only is it you the lore match, but this is like the bracket match. This, this is, is the bracket, bracket lore, lore match. match. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, for <clears throat> sure. Mike Safty still showing us that they love to represent that gun flame. And the gun flame is a decent. Oh, two Ds under the fireball. Nice call out. That's Mike Safty. I mean, you have to get a lot of this anti-Kai, like, specific tech. And then you can build on top of that and start building the anti danny tech. Right now, though, Mike Saftig is just struggling in the matchup. Not enough time to do anything out of there. Good IBs, though. Absolutely. Red RC into the guard crush here. Running the corner pressure, but Danny is so patient here. The fireball misses, but a good fake out. Oh my god, and he catches the success. I think this combo route might actually kill. That's crazy. No, Every time I see Danny like do the tap dust route, I'm just yep. like, yeah, he's dead. Yep. Danny <laughs> made made the choice mid combo to to do that tap dust route. I, recall, I being in the air on the dire cloth there. Very I nice nice tapping. That's crazy. Alrighty, we're gonna have to see. What Mike's at? Mike Savage just has not been able to get a word in edgewise here so far. Got an IB on the fireball and a burst bait. This is a huge amount of damage. Yeah, this is some damage. Oh, with that gun faint to keep his pressure rolling, Mike Savage is in his pocket now. Danny, oh my. Oh, no God, conversion, though. PRC under no conversion, but we have the throw. JH, 2D. Here we go. We're going to have to find some kind of answer. Nice call out, getting the 6H into the TK heavy DP. Man. I do love to see that. 2D after a pause round start. The clean hit DP. You'll love to see it. Big counter hit bar slash. 
for sure. The wall break, positive bonus, positive bonus, Mike Saftig. I mean, this is just the classic route. This is the Saftig that route. Is, that is the route, and the perfect coming down from Mike Saftig. Not going to be taking that laying down for sure. Mike Saftig bringing the heat in game two. Bringing us tied up. Man. All right, I know I, know I yeah. said, like, we shouldn't get game fives because both of us are, like, tired or afflicted <laughs> with some ailment, but I listen, really want this to go to a game five. Listen, <laughs> like, it is a okay. We got all the energy in the world for these hype game five situations. That's right true. That's now, true. That's true. We only got a couple more games left for the night. Let's see if we can make some noise in the chat. We got Mike Safting and Danny true. on screen. Yeah, send him some love. Send him some hype. Check Yo, out that lend him your energy. Both these players just using some long, long buttons to try to check each other. Yep. This is all the neutral that happens between these two is very, very intentional. Look at that really sneaky JS snuck in there. Danny loves throwing out buttons to check people's approach. Mike Saftig has been slowing it down, not approaching as much because they're kind of noticing the uh, the check the approach style that Danny's pulling out. There it is. There's the root. It's a lot of damage. Very good, very good. BRC, the TKTP though, into the Fafnir guard crush, into the close slash, the crazy back dash. Now we're back to neutral, and here we see this really, really Let's intentional neutral, but the run up. A little 2k throw, ain't no thing. Mike Saptic did no get caught out by it. Here we go. Danny pushing things to the corner. The Bandit Bringer not going to connect. The Fudra Art getting punished out. Danny has been getting caught on these Fudra Arts very consistently this bracket. DP coming in. Man. Oh, nice ID on the Bandit Revolver. Oh, these IED backs. Danny is moving in the air. What a 5P into the Red RC confirmed. Good burst out from Mike Saptic. Risky, because that could have been jump canceled, but Danny was not going for the jump cancel route. Look at the, the stare down between these two. <laughs> there it is. That's what Mike was looking for. Into the red RC. And I think you're just dead? Yeah, Look at that, that route. Was, that was a TKDP. Mike Saptic knows. Mike Saptic, once the meter comes on and Mike's just like, you hit any button, I'm hitting 6H and murdering you. Really yeah, enjoying this such a game. Versatile button. Yeah, absolutely. Especially when you got that meter to increase your confirmability. Good throw. Get, oh, oh, look at that. The close slash, dash, close slash, yeah. and oh man. Just goes for the damage. I cannot believe that Pudra Arc just missed, but we're going to go ahead and skip right past that. Good damage route from Mike Sampig. You know, not opting for the burst bait there. Ooh, didn't quite get the tumble stake. Going to be protecting Danny a little bit here. 100 meter on deck for Danny and 50 for Mike Saptic. No burst going to be available. The block on the YRC. Oh, and that is a dead El Masa Danny. Look at the download from Mike Saptic there. Playing really clean, getting that YRC bait. You do got to love to see it. Man, I feel... <laughs> is it just me or do both of these players seem to be playing a little bit better? I mean, listen, like, I, these guys are always improving, always playing off of each other. They do meet in these later rounds pretty frequently. But, I mean, it's it's been a hot minute since we had a Mike Saftig, Danny uh, finals. Very excited yeah. to see it. Oh, my God. And just what a... <laughs> just a throw tech right off the back. Not a... No big thing. Yep. I still am trying, <laughs> trying to play this whiff punish game. There's a run-up throw. Can take advantage of that patience and that wanting to whiff punish. The DP bait. Oh, wait. You have to be careful with BRC. You didn't burst there. You actually just stood up a little faster than expected. I thought that was a burst animation happening. I think Def Mike Savage might have too. That was just an oddly fast recovery. <laughs> what a 6P. Nicely done, Danny. I mean, Danny gets a little lucky on that one, I think, without the uh, with that with that weird burst animation. But 
Another run up throw. Danny once again taking advantage of the patience that Mike Saftig is kind of displaying. The Pooja Arc's missing is terrifying. Because you want to be whiff punishing that, but look at that Sacred Edge combo route. Man. Oh, and just a little 5k. No big thing. Into the Fudra Arc fast RC into the low. Into the nice little perfect for Danny. Perfect for Danny taking us into game five here. Between hey. Danny and Mike Saftig. Look see at it. that. <laughs> you love to see it. We called it. We thought it might have been coming. Game five from Danny and Mike Saftig. All right, no more game fives after the slump side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, it's all right. It's all right. We're we're running uh, actually a little bit of. We're basically right on time, actually. Yeah, I was gonna say usual, we're, we're not going practice. long. That is for sure. We're gonna be seeing what they can pull out here in our winners' final. Danny and Mike Saftig. You love to see both these players cooking. The blue jeans versus the anniversary skin. Man, oh Ooh. god, love that. The denim check. skins are so good. Yeah, they really are. They rule. Oh, and what a great little throw from Danny. 5k dash cancel pressure. Nice conversion up the 6p. Oh, Danny is really locked in on Mike Half Saftig's habits right now. A pixel versus a perfect coming in. Danny has so much momentum in this matchup. Uh, Danny really showing us why he's the fighter jet guy. Just round start, uh, jump stun edge. Yep. Ooh, clash of the DP didn't quite get a punish there. Another counter hit comes in. You've got to be real scared here. The PRC, or the RC rather. Ooh, little PRC oh, into the nice throw, little... into the red RC, and you're just dead throw. here. 100 meters, nice. you can do anything, huh? Very good. Danny went for the burst bait knowing that it, was, it wasn't quite a checkmate situation. But now you're in. <laughs> look at these. Look at these five Ks yeah. coming out. Yeah. How are you going to approach a guy who's just sitting there back dashing and hitting five K like that? Nice. Yeah, how do you done. approach a man that has a DP and a back dash five K? Valiant effort by Mike Saftig, but that's going to be a three two for Danny. We'll be popping on down to the bottom bracket. We have MFCR versus Ordinary Magician.